Hey guys, so before I get into this video, um, I just wanted to say the first part is strictly just a comparison between the stock exhaust and the aftermarket. I'll leave a timestamp here for you guys so you can see kind of like the parts and pieces that I put together to make this possible. But for now, we'll just start with just the sound, okay? So I let the video run when I'm first pulling out here and you can hear me kind of turn around the parking lot and the first time I pull away from the camera I'm just going through the gears stopping in like third like I was just normally cruising and then the second time I pull away from the camera I get on it so you can hear the difference and then I do the same thing with the new exhaust. Now this is the back and forth comparison that I couldn't find any other videos really doing when they do an exhaust video. I was constantly like going back and forth between the different exhausts to try to actually hear the difference. Luckily I saved you guys the trouble and it just goes back and forth here so you can actually hear it.
guys one thing I wanted to show you on here was uh, first of all this exhaust um, I was running the tune in correctly um, basically it was just running really rich there was a lot of popping going on and I polished this exhaust again because the whole thing basically turned blue I don't know if you can really see it <clears throat> if I come around to the front here maybe yeah there you go you see the bluing on the exhaust behind the heat shield there? I don't know if you can see that or not, but you see the whole exhaust started turning like goldish brown. Some parts of it were blue. But I repolished it and it looks fine now. Um, you see the shorter pipe is starting to blue a little bit, but I would expect that with how short that is. Um, the heat shields as well were getting scratched very easily, so I hit it with some like Krylon specialty high heat paint it's got like a little bit of a gloss to it which is nice and i actually set up real good and it, i've had no problems with it then after that i do have a couple little scratches it's probably where like my pants sit honestly so i mean i'm not too worried about it i got a can at home still i can touch that up whenever and i want to explain how i have this um dk customs catch can installed here so with the Arlen Ness inverted air breather it comes with these standoffs here right and they're just aluminum and your um, banjo bolts I believe are what they called they go through here there's a plate there now but those go through there into your um, into the head and your rocker blocks whatever you want to call them and what would normally happen is, you know, the end of those uh, banjo bolts are capped, but there's a hole that goes through an inlet inside this air breather, and the inlet tube exits here where the intake is, and there's like a little oil drip trough behind this here that everything would normally catch into, and there's a gasket that comes with it as well. What I did was I took some brass fittings when I ordered this oil catch can and I just drilled into the standoffs with the proper threads. I tapped it correctly, used some red Loctite, you can still see it on there, to seal those up. I've got some zip ties holding the top part there because I don't see how oil or anything would come out of there. Um, down where the actual T is, I've got a quarter inch, three eighths, quarter inch T seeing as the, these two hoses here that come off the banjo bolts are have a quarter inch inner diameter and then the hose there that the catch can is attached to is a 3 8 inner diameter I believe and that's basically all it is that's pretty simple setup the uh, inlet tubes that are inside the breather are currently sealed with like some permatex a gasket maker and some other types of silicone and the banjo bolts themselves I had to drill out um, in line where those brass fittings are because normally you know those banjo bolts would you know go into the inlet tubes of the breather but I have those sealed off now with some permatex and now they're capped off right to where those brass fittings are and already i've gotten some like espresso coffee mixtures inside the oil catch can so it's definitely doing its job which i'm pretty happy for other than that though it seems to be set up pretty nice that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you hear the difference between the exhaust also, um, it was funny when I was testing out the exhaust and getting this video, some one of my neighbors pulled up and they sent their little girl out to grab my helmet and phone because they thought someone left it there. It's just the most adorable, innocent thing ever. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. Have a good one.
All right, okay. give it to him because I was about to take it back over and find someone who it belongs to. Oh, you, you, you can leave it on the ground. I was recording a video. I'm sorry, bud. You're good, man. <laughs> I just put a new exhaust on, so I was trying to record a video of the difference between that the stock sense. and the other exhaust. I think you're good, though. She picked it up after the good stuff was done. <laughs> thanks for the uh, look. Thanks for looking out, though. Let's go right on the window plane and what block? How do you can see? Look at all the robots. Let's go!